Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm very excited to announce that there has been a huge development for M1 Mac Gaming. And anyone who plays multiplayer games should be very excited about this development. So Epic Games owns the Easy Anti-Cheat software, also known as EAC. This software is responsible for preventing cheating in online multiplayer games. However, it also means that if you're trying to run the Windows version of a popular multiplayer game, then Easy Anti-Cheat is going to detect that you're running this on a Mac computer instead of a Windows computer and it'll throw up an error message like this on Apex Legends. This is despite the fact that the M1 Mac hardware is perfectly capable of running Apex Legends at very good frame rates. For example, this is R5 Reloaded, an offline version of Apex Legends, which is running on a Windows 11 ARM operating system, virtualized through Parallels on my MacBook Air 2020 with 8GB of RAM and only 4GB of RAM dedicated to the virtual machine. Similarly here, we're trying to run the Windows version of Fall Guys on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac through Crossover, which is a Wine compatibility layer. And as you can see, Easy Anti-Cheat is actively preventing the game from being loaded because it's detected that it's being run through the Wine compatibility layer and this progress bar will never actually complete. The game will not be able to launch. In the past, it used to be possible to boot camp. So this means that you could install Windows on a separate partition and run the games natively. And therefore games like Fall Guys would be compatible with Easy Anti-Cheat because the game would detect it running natively on Windows x86. However, the only ways to play Windows games on the M1 chip is through a compatibility layer like Crossover and Wine, or virtualized Windows using something like Windows 11 ARM, running through a virtual machine software like Parallels. And unfortunately, if the game uses EAC, then the anti-cheat software will simply not allow the game to boot. That is, until this recent development. So Epic Games' announcement really comes in two parts. The first part is that they are saying that they are extending support for Linux and Mac developers who maintain full native builds of these games for these platforms. So this is interesting because it's showing that Epic is treating the Mac as a serious gaming platform and putting development of their anti-cheat software towards it. However, it's really the second part of their announcement which is very interesting. In it, they say, to make it easy for developers to ship their games across PC platforms, support for Wine and Proton compatibility layers on Linux is included. Starting with the latest SDK release, developers can activate anti-cheat support for Linux via Wine or Proton with just a few clicks in the Epic Online Services developer portal. So what's exciting about this is that we finally have explicit support for easy anti-cheat on the Wine compatibility layer as well as on Proton. So if you didn't already know, Proton is a compatibility layer which allows Windows games to be run on Linux. This is going to be one of the key selling points to allow Windows games to be run on the new Steam Deck, which is going to be released later this year, which is running on the Linux operating system. But how exactly does this relate to Mac gaming? After all, Proton is really for Linux and it's not for the Mac operating system. So what some people don't know is that there is one company called Code Weavers, which is responsible for both Proton and Crossover. And on top of this, they are one of the key contributors to the Wine open source project. And many of the compatibility fixes discovered in Proton are upstreamed into the Wine project as a whole and shared with their software Crossover, which is a key way of playing Windows games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So now that Easy Anti-Cheat has explicitly been made to work with Wine and Proton, and this is a result of a cooperation between Valve, Code Weavers, and Epic, it is only a matter of time before some of these Wine changes are ported over to the Mac operating system, and I predict that we will see Easy Anti-Cheat working on the Mac operating system using Wine or Crossover in the very near future. So for example, in the background I'm playing Halo Master Chief Collection Anniversary Edition, and this is running through Crossover. So we're actually playing the single player campaign at the moment, which is perfectly compatible with the M1 Mac. However, its multiplayer still utilizes Easy Anti-Cheat, and I foresee that this is going to be made compatible in the very near future thanks to EAC compatibility in Wine and Proton. So when Easy Anti-Cheat does become compatible with the Mac operating system, it's going to change the landscape of Apple Silicon Mac gaming forever. So one of the most requested games is Fall Guys, which uses Easy Anti-Cheat. And if this is compatible, then it's gonna draw a lot more users to the Mac operating system. Furthermore, there are lots of other games which would benefit. For example, Apex Legends is one of the most popular competitive multiplayer shooters. And also we have brand new massively multiplayer online RPGs like New World, which also make use of Easy Anti-Cheat. And this will be a great asset to the Mac gaming repertoire if it was made compatible. So it's important to remember that Easy Anti-Cheat isn't the only anti-cheat software out there. So for example, the software BattleEye is used by games like PUBG, Destiny 2, Rainbow Six Siege, and Escape from Tarkov. These are very popular online shooters. 
Valve have stated that they are working with Battle.i and EAC to get support for Proton ahead of the Steam Deck launch, and so far they have fulfilled their EAC promise, so I hope that Battle.i will follow soon. And also games like Valorant use their own custom anti-cheat software, and so extra work would need to be done for this to be made compatible with Proton and later down the line on the Mac operating system if there's the will to do that from the developer and the publisher. So for now we're going to have to wait for developers and publishers to opt in their game to the new compatibility for Easy Anti-Cheat. In the meantime you should check out Apple Gaming Wiki's M1 Compatible Games Master List for a full list of games that are compatible with the M1 Mac. I'm going to be updating this list as and when more games become compatible for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. You can also check out my advanced tutorial for getting Windows games to run through crossover on the M1 Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you agree or disagree with my prediction, please leave a comment, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.